Geminat. Mm mm. Geminat. Mm mm. Geminat. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. <laughs> Hello, Gemini. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well. You guys are enjoying your week so far. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, my loves. So, um, you know, to to those of you who already know, you know, I was battling sickness. I am 100% recovered. <laughs> thank you so much for all of your kind, you know, positivity and well wishes and everything. It really sped up the, the process for me so anyway gemini you guys already know what the freak is going on <laughs> so now we're gonna see what kind of lunatic may be trying to come towards you okay keep in mind the situation here could be reversed uh vice versa it's a general reading um so just keep that in mind right keep an open mind when watching general tarot readings also gemini um please be sure to like this video for me Thank you so much to those of you who like every single time you watch my videos. It really does help us creators with the algorithm um, to get our videos out there more. So thank you so much to those of you who do. Also, Gemini, if for any strange reason, right, this does not resonate with you, feel free to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs, okay? All right, so here we go. It takes less than one second to like, right? <laughs> All right, Gemini, let's see what we got. Woo, give us some good spirit. <laughs> All right, Gemini, what is coming from Gemini in love? What do we have for Gemini? Gemini. Ooh, that came out quick. Gemini, who are you guys flirting with? There's some flirting going on, right? Let's get a, a card for the bottom. Gemini, what is coming towards Gemini in love? Gemini. Release your ex. Are you guys flirting with your ex, Gemini? And then you have very soon. <laughs> Gemini flirting with the ex. <laughs> All right, so let's pull um, these true love messages. I wish I knew who made, who made this deck. I completely forgot. But when I do find out, I will post it um, in the description box. Gemini, what is coming towards Gemini in love? What do we have, Spirit? Gemini, 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 Gemini. And you know what I'm thinking, Gemini? What do you guys think about this idea? I'm thinking about coming out with, um, what is it? How do they feel about you type of um, video, right? Or category, whatever. Um, and that's something I might do every couple weeks bi-weekly. Um, I'm thinking about doing that. What do you guys think? That way I will tell you guys, you know, how they feel about you, their likely next action, uh, what are the blockages within this connection and the outcome. And it's going to be the current energy, right? So let me, let me know what you guys think about that. All right, Gemini, Gemini, what do we have? <clears throat> oh, okay. So Gemini, somebody wants to be honest with you. That's what they want. And then you also have things are changing. Okay. Very interesting. Let's get one of these cards. Gemini. 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 Okay. No, I don't wanna. Gemini. What is coming towards Gemini in love? So Gemini, you have fairy tales do exist. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. And you also have healing the heart chakra and <laughs> someone sitting in a puddle of self-pity so you got some motherfucker just sitting around feeling bad for themselves maybe because of what they've done to you look at what you've done they could be going through the night of the soul the dark night of the soul right now damn that sucks could be a chorus <laughs> what is coming to Mr. Gemini and uh Gemini. 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 Some of you, this could be someone who's long distance. I also have Aquarius, right? Gemini. One more shuffle, Gemini. 
Bam. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, okay. Gemini, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Talk about a lot of confusion in this connection, right? Um, it's confusing right now, Gemini. That's what I feel. It's very confusing. There's probably a lack of proper communication. And a lack of proper communication is not something that a Gemini really wants, right? It's like you need that clarity, okay? If only this person would fucking communicate better, you know. It wouldn't be so confusing. But all right, so let's see. You know, Ace of Swords can be talking about deception as well. So let's see. What is coming towards Gemini and love? What is coming towards Gemini and love? Gemini. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm here for it. So you could definitely be connected to a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. I also have Aries here. Some of you are dealing with a new person or you have a new person coming towards you. Right? With the Page of Cups here. What is coming towards Gemini and love? You're, you're frustrated? Gemini. Okay, so Gemini. <laughs> so you're frustrated. You're frustrated. I feel like this is someone who is very... I don't know why they have this ego, this pride. They're very stubborn. I feel like some of you may have been trying to talk to this person, but it seems like... They just ignore you or you just don't get much of a, a response, if any. I see with the Eight of Pentacles, some of you may have met this person at work. You feel like they're ignoring you. Okay, Gemini. Okay, now you, you guys know. You guys know I, I, I always have that light bulb that goes off. So are you telling me that this is someone who is trying to ignore you? Because if you take a look at the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of the, or maybe you're ignoring this person. You know, play, place it how you need to place it. But I feel like, Gemini, um, someone's trying to ignore you. Um, in the Seven of Pentacles, someone's waiting on some kind of communication. This person's probably hoping that you will reach out to them with the Page of Cups. This person wants to say something to you, but it's almost like they're just so damn stubborn. Um, they don't want to show how they feel the hell is going on here <laughs> Gemini what is coming towards Gemini and love so shit motherfucker if you would act like that then shit I guess we won't talk right <laughs> got Libra showing up here we dealing with a Libra what's coming towards Gemini and love so oh Gemini oh my god okay this person owes you some kind of apology for some of you that's what it's about that's what it's about Dang it, come on. <laughs> this person needs to apologize to you. They know that they need to apologize. So this person may have done you wrong in some kind of way, okay? Um, and I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, they would rather suffer or, you know, rather than to just be, you know, just say I'm sorry, right? Wow. You guys know that song by Sierra? All you had to do. But say that I'm sorry. That's what I keep hearing. And I'm in love with you. All this person needs to do is just apologize. But it's hard for them to do that. They don't want to show any emotion. So you guys are still dealing with that stubborn motherfucker that we've seen, huh? All right, what's coming towards Gemini and love? What's coming towards Gemini and love? So this person is trying. <clears throat> oh my God. Gemini, so this person, the more they hold back, the more they stay away from you, the more they ignore uh, their intuition, it is driving them insane. It is. Because they're making this tougher and difficult on themselves, Gemini. With the Five of Pentacles, it's cold out there. It's cold as fuck, okay? Um, some of you, you abandon this situation. You stop dealing with them. And now they're just like, fuck, Gemini's not going to reach out. I thought Gemini was going to, you know, da, da 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 So it's almost like for some of you, this person is so used to you reaching out or, you know, trying to fix things. And and this person just kind of chilling and, and just is soaking it all in. No, baby. It's time to do some work. It's time to do some work. Put in some work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this motherfucker is trying to ignore you. But the more they ignore you, the more they want you, the more it's driving them insane. We can clearly see, Gemini, that this is someone who is sitting in 
some self-pity, right? Some guilt, right? <clears throat> they're not sleeping well, but they're watching. <clears throat> Gemini, they're watching you. They they got their eye on you. If you think that they're over this, they're, it's, it, <laughs> man, they're not over it. They're watching you. Some of you, um, <clears throat> and it's crazy because the Ten of Cups is here and the Ten of Pentacles. They really feel like this could be it for them, right? You are the end all be all, but it's almost like they've developed some kind of codependency over you. Um, they feel like they really need you, but they can't say it. They don't want to admit it. They don't want to admit that they need you. That is the issue here. They don't want to admit that. They don't. They really want to come towards you. Um, right? They want to apologize, make some kind of gesture. They want to talk things out. They want to, you know, be more romantic with you. They dream about it, but they don't put that into action. Um, but they're doing a lot of thinking. Could be a Virgo. They're doing a lot of thinking about it rather than taking action. But I feel like they are going to make a final decision, um, Gemini, a final decision, a judgment call to come towards you and to give you this apology and to open up to you. They will. They will, Gemini. Um, like I said, this is someone who's just very difficult. That is what I am observing here. The emperor is someone, it's, it's hard to get through to him. This person is so tough this could be your divine masculine for those of you who believe in twin flame this is someone who is hard to budge them it's hard to crack them but you know behind this exterior of this tough guy act he's like this he's like that <laughs> so gemini you can expect that somebody is going to give you some kind of apology they're going to come and right their wrongs they're being stubborn about it but they will they will <clears throat> Is coming towards Gemini in love. Gemini. Tell me more about this love situation for Gemini. Wow. So this person, for some of you, it's a case of them thinking that they're right or they're right and knowing that they're not right. It's hard for this person to admit that they are wrong. Um, this could be your partner. Some of you got into an argument with this person, right? So some of you are like, you know what? Can this even be fixed anymore? Should I just release this person? So this person started to get very distant from you. I feel, Gemini, they may have even walked away. Eight of Cups. But what did they walk away from? They walked away from... A soulmate connection? A strong connection? Why? Because they would rather be right? They miss you. Six of Cups is here. Why does... Okay, some of them, they feel like they're not good enough. Queen of Wands reverse. What the hell's going on here? I feel like this person's been waiting for you to say something to them, Gemini. But if you don't, they're going to say something. That's kind of what I'm getting here. <clears throat> Gemini, tell me more about this love situation for Gemini. Gemini, tell me more. Gemini in love. Ooh, Gemini. <clears throat> All right. So it's saying to have patience. So that's what we're seeing in the Seven of, Pent of Pentacles. It's saying that you should have patience with this person, but I feel like you, you're running out of it because you're like, damn, motherfucker, you're my twin flame, but you're my soulmate, but I, 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 I can't, you know, I can't fight against your ego, your pride. This is somebody who's very... Um, they, they're very apathetic. It's almost like they're sulking because they tend to have a victim mindset. They could be going through something financially, but they have almost like a victim mindset. They've adopted this mindset 
to where they feel like people don't really care about them. People don't really love them. People, you know, are going to end up leaving them. So they pushed people away with their, I don't know, macho, tough guy, whatever the hell they're trying to do. <laughs> so spirit is like, okay, have patience. That's what it's telling you to do, Gemma. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. This person feels like things are too intense, Gemini. Too intense came out. You have moving on. If they don't say anything, I do see you walking away, Gemini. Eight of Cups. I do see you just kind of deciding to just give it up. Moving on. Time to go now and reaching out. I feel like just when you move on, here they come. They're going to show up. Because it's so hard for them to open up to you. But you have need to talk. They do want to talk to you. Woo, child. This motherfucker making things very difficult. All right. So let's see what this person wants to say. What does this person want to say to Gemini? What does this person want to say to Gemini? Oh my God, I cry when I think of you. <laughs> Gemini, I can clearly see that. What does this person want to say to Gemini? Damn, you guys got motherfuckers crying out here. Okay, so they say that they ran away from you. What does this person want to say to Gemini? Any other messages, spirit? What does this person want to tell Gemini? Gemini. <laughs> no. I am afraid of getting hurt. So this person's afraid of getting hurt. What is coming towards Gemini in love? And this is why they lock you out, shut you out. They don't want to get hurt. It's too intense. I stay away because I don't want to hurt you. I think about a future with you. Gemini, what does this person want to say to Gemini? The tea is so damn hot. I really do care about you. Like, I don't even want to put the cards down. All right, Gemini. We're going to have a... We we go we gonna have a damn nightcap at my house, okay? I'm gonna drop the address. You guys come over, and we're gonna talk with some piping hot tea about the lunatics, and hopefully they don't come to my motherfucking house. Shit. Oh God, because this is so interesting. I just don't want to stop this reading. All right, what is coming to? What does this person want to say to Gemini? Gemini, Gemini. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I am insecure. Didn't I say that? Queen of Wands reverse. This is someone who's very insecure. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in themselves. So they hide behind a lot of pride and ego. This is how they operate. I stalk and obsess over you and I am married. For some of you, this person could be married. And if they are married, they want to be with you. But at the same time, it's like, they're sitting over here enduring treatment from whoever the hell they're with. And they're probably going crazy like this about who, who they're with because they want to get a divorce. But the other person is so insecure and they're just, you know, sabotaging the divorce process and doing a bunch of crap. Anything else? What does this person want to say to Gemini? Anything else? Anything else? Gemini, Gemini. I do not want to be loved. So this person doesn't want to be loved? You gave me the best sex ever. Wow, it's easier to block you out. Damn, Gemini, you guys are dealing with someone who just absolutely doesn't want to get hurt. I never expected to fall in love. Wow. This person never expected to fall in love with the beautiful and, you know, smart, sophisticated, funny, fabulous Gemini. They didn't expect to. So, Gemini, um, you can expect that they're going to come with some type of message of love. They will try to be a little bit more sweet with you. I do see justice and them being a little bit more consistent with you. But this is someone who's a work in progress. You have to be really patient with them because I feel like they will open up to you because they do see um, a life with you. They, they do want that, but it's going to take baby steps. And if you ain't got time for it, just move on. Anyway, love you guys. See you guys next time.